Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, JC, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about something interesting in the Black Ops 3 Shadows of Evil reveal trailer, and that is the elemental swords in the trailer. If you didn't see these things in the trailer, I don't know what you were watching, because they looked absolutely incredible, and that's the first thing I noticed. But as you can see, one of them sort of like a Hell's Retriever. It does fire damage, fire effects. One is sort of like an elemental electricity sword, and one slashes through the zombies like a normal sword would. We didn't really see a fourth one, whether or not it's wind, or ice, I'm not exactly sure, but these swords got me thinking, where have I seen something like this before? I could have sworn that I saw something like this in Zombies before. So me and my friend Sam, we went back to Black Ops 2, we went all the way back to the last DLC for Black Ops 2 Origins, and underneath the map, in the very crypts of the map, where the four old character statues are, as you can see, all four of them are holding swords. That's right, in the same locations as the elemental staves in Origins, these swords are held right above them and I'm not sure if Treyarch put them here to maybe hint at the swords coming in the future with Shadows of Evil or maybe they just mean nothing at all and that's what I want to ask you guys today. In my mind honestly I think Treyarch might have had the idea for swords in Origins and instead of doing it in Origins they did the stabs instead and said hold on we'll hold off on the swords until the next map in Black Ops 3 and then they might have put this here to hint at them. That's just something that I've been thinking about a lot lately and I don't know it's really just up in the air and whether or not they actually correlate with Origins or not, but it's definitely a huge link to Origins if it does, and it definitely, definitely was something that was right under our nose this whole time. So what do you think, Sam? Do they actually mean something, or do they mean nothing? I do not care. Well, all right then. This has been JC, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And tell me once again, like I said before, in the comments below what you think about all this, what this means. And if you have any other ideas or theories yourself, be sure to leave them down below. And you guys know I read the comments. That's something I love doing. I love interacting with all of you. So be sure to do that. And as always, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.